a very good morning to you all. And it's a great pleasure to be here again with, uh, okay, with the people from Ife and the people from uh, uh, the North, Ocean North East. Uh, it's a pleasure meeting you at this time. Um, the Anglican Church, well, I've known growing up as a child. I was born in Baptist, uh, Baptist, Mushi area of Lagos. Uh -huh. My father was the Babai Joe there of uh, the Gospel Baptist Church under the late uh, Bishop Atilade. And uh, of course, I interacted with them so much because we are Babai Joe's children. We always around bishop and um and time came he passed on we and as we grew see what my father did to his own parents we did to him too are you with me so the lecture has started good to see you again here all of my award winners in the first set i had yes my father was actually born into a Muslim family, he said he noticed that every Sunday, the Muslim children, I mean, the, the Christian children in their village, they wear new clothes and they will eat rice. Every Sunday at the end. Every other day they eat any other thing. That Sunday was a special day for two reasons. New cloth, cloth and rice. Can you imagine Ah, may God work out your salvation in his own way in Jesus' name. That I am born a Christian today, it was instrumental of new clothes and what? Rice. So he's been tolerating his parents all along. He was in the village. Immediately he came to Lagos to school. He was in Unilag. And when he got to Lagos, immediately he just find his way straight to where church and that was how his own salvation experience began and he ended up getting married giving birth to children and started naming them in the christian way so i never knew what it means to be a muslim because i was born into a christian home it's only when his uncle comes from the village <laughs> what a contradiction in in satellite town there myself my brothers were leaders of youth groups in satellite town really doing great things for the lord then but that when my father's brother now comes from the village he is a chief imam in the village he would then leave our house our house was like a monastery <laughs> there in satellite town and if I will now leave that place and now go to satellite town mocks, and I don't know how they normally identify their ranking system there. They got to know he's a senior <laughs> man. So when we get into the... He will be in the front leading the prayer. God have mercy on me. You know, I've been confessing many things that I did when I was young. Those were the days we were doing raffia in school. Math, needs, you need use rubber and beads to make chain, to make... I don't know how many test bills that I cut open in the mosque. And I'll pack the beads there in my pocket. And I will leave... And then I wasn't born again. I was just going to church. I'm talking about my six, seven, eight years old time when he comes. Pack them and them. And by and by and by, he came, he left. Babatu passed on. They are far in satellite. Tamar. They will come to our house. And my father's uncle, chief imam, sits there. My father sits there. And all the Afa in satellite town mall, they will sit in our house. People will be wondering what's happening. And one day, 
I heard them telling my father, "You want my wallo ya? Oko wo bwa mama. Oko wa fuke so wa di keveri. O je ka ma la ma. Baba tu wa nbi. O tun wo won ran won tun lo si sase. They were just talking and me and my brothers were fueling in the room. What's the meaning of this? In our sitting room, Muslim coming to say this blah 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 blah. And my father is very sharp man, smart guy. He kept quiet all through. He will not say a word. <laughs> he will not say a word until they will go. And continue by and by. Baba passed on. He passed on. And by the time we were leaving, when we two now started plunging our hand out of Baptist church, he will say, no. I gave that to you in Baptist church. You must remain in Baptist church. We were all, okay, all of them were bapti baptized in Baptist. I was the only one. I think me and my younger brother we were the only two that were not baptized in Baptist church. We were baptized among the Pentecostals. And today, we are all out of the Baptist church. When we did one year remembrance for him, they told us, don't let your father's seat be vacant in the church. They show us his seat. doesn't matter when my father gets to church. He sits, nobody sits there. He has a special seat in church. I get what I'm saying. Now, I went this story to you because we want to talk about what? Pentecostalism in the Anglican communion. We're talking about the generation Z now. As if it's a generation that don't know God and they will not serve God. Begin to get this clear at the early part of my presentation to you that the generation Z, we are even talking about it, there is now another generation rising up that we call generation Alpha. I want you to let you Gen Z, Lord. At three, four years old, you see a child pick a phone and he puts it on, navigates towards the operating system, and it can go open OS, go to the page, go to the website, and it will get to where his cartoon is. And now begin to watch. My God. When some of us were still learning how to use remote control. <laughs> Three, four years old. And they would just be, I see them in church. They struggle phone with their parents. That is another generation. Alpha. I watch a guy in uh, American God's Talent. The guy is not even speaking clearly. His English is not yet clear. I think he's about five years old. Is he? Or even if not less. Four. You know the guy I'm talking about? The mathematics guy. He's four years old. See, I, I felt that Simon, Simon was a very tough guy. Why he gave him seven, nine? Simon was giving him complex number. This four-year-old guy without Simon say, ah, ah, we. He's not even using a calculator. He's not even counting his hands, and he's solving it, and he will get it. Eh? Um, men of God, my dear clergy, those are the generation you want to pastor. Or maybe you say you won't be the one to pastor them. Your own child will be the one to pastor them. How prepared is your child to face such generation of people and talk to them about the gospel and they will listen to you? So hear the word I want to tell you there. Generation Z and Generation Alpha, they will serve God. There will be Christians among them. There will be believers among them. But the question I'm asking you is that, will your church be the place they will be willing to come? They will go to church, but will it be your church? They will read the Bible. Is it the type you are reading? Last Sunday in church, in Lekki, and um, they called the hymn, 
Everybody is talking about sustainability and your, our ability not to destroy the ecosystem. So printing of papers is discouraged as much as possible. If you don't have to print, don't print. So we are reducing printing of papers. The guy got on stage and he was like, today's hymn is hymn 378. It's been posted on the third platform. Let's begin to take our hymn. And everybody in the church stood up. And because of my facilitation brain, that's what will make me. I sit in front, first, first or second row. That's where all the ministers sit down. And from my seat, I turned back. Virtually everybody in church has a phone. Some have tablets. Everybody just went. And we were singing the hymn. You go to some other churches, it is papers you will see in their hand. You go to some other churches, you have your hymns. In uh, Anglican church, you have your book that you carry. That Sunday, last Sunday, when I turned, it was all phones, tablets. So now looking, this person didn't even wonder that uh, what if there's somebody in church that don't have phone? What if there's somebody in church that has phone, but it is the uh, tunnel sobe? <laughs> I heard it in my friend's house. It says the tunnel sobe type. How would that person cope in that service? Messages are posted there. Adverts are posted there. Everybody is just relating. There are information that I've heard this morning now. It was posted on the church platform. We want to hold meeting. Meeting hold at this time. The Zoom link has been posted there. Everybody just click. And where you are, you are on. So I'm asking you, I'm asking you. By the time, it, it, you know, <laughs> it has become the normal thing in some places. And some other places is just entering there. And let's look five years from now. Ten years from now. You hope to still be alive, right? You hope to still be pastoring, right? The type of young people and the types of elders that will be in church then, will you be equipped enough to pastor them? Now get me right. It's not that you don't have the anointing. You have the anointing. It's not that you don't know the word of God. You know the word of God. It's not that you cannot present it. You can present it. But can you pass it in the form and in the format that is being used now? I hope that preamble has been able to prepare our heart. I love to do that before I start running slides before people. Because these are things you can read up and learn from what you are looking at yourself. Pentecostalism in the Anglican Communion. You have the booklet with you. Please get, get me one copy. Let me use to guide myself because it's not the same thing with what I have in this sl slide. Pentecostalism is a vibrant Christian movement emphasizing the power of the Holy Spirit. They have experienced significant growth globally and profoundly impacting everywhere. Now, this was not the practice. Thank you very much, sir. This was not the practice in most, okay, mine is here. Thank you. This was not the practice before. Some other places, they don't do it like that. There is a way you sing. There is a way you dance. But some people are looking at it and say, come, those people there are more lively than the ones here. I would rather go there than stay here. Now, let me tell you one nice history. It's good. History is good for us to know where we are coming from so that we'll be able to prepare for where we're going. And I thank uh, Venerable. I didn't know you know that much about me, or maybe you read it in my profile, that I did my PhD in Christian growth, Christian history and church growth. Now, we read a time came the Christianity we are practicing, and this is not the first move of Christianity in the world. There had been a first move. 
and it ended that people didn't want to hear anything about God, Jesus, or the Bible again. There was a second move that also ended. There was a third move. I think some of the extension of that you will still see among the Coptics, the Egyptians, and some of these people in Sudan that still maintain the Christianity of that time because they refused to be overrun by the Islamic jihadists and what crept into the Christendom then. And they still maintain their own. And I'm still finding my way into all those countries. You know, I've been in Sudan one or twice. But they tied me down with the money <laughs> they paid me for the work I went to do there. I could not go around the city to really see the place. But I knew they were there. No, I felt, I felt a different presence there. And they took, put me at the highest. The hotel, they put me there. It was the topmost floor. They put me, you could almost see the cloud. Almost touching the roof of. So I felt I was closer to God. Say, God, can you shake my hand? <laughs> that move came and went. Now, when the... The move that we are in now, this should be about the fourth. The move we are in now was giving birth to after some 100 plus years of prayers and prayers by some people. By some people. That prayer was climaxed by the encounter in Azusa. If you've ever read church history, you will hear of the Azusa Street Revival, where believers were in a room like this praying earnestly for the move of God. And the, the roof of the house where they were praying was consumed as like with fire. And it was physical, naked to the eyes. Fire ambulance came outside to put up the fire, but there was something looking different. There, they were surrounding the place, and it's like it was like the bush Moses, is it? Moses saw that the bush was burning, but the grass was not consumed. And and when they broke into the building, they saw that that see, it's no fire. It was some people inside praying. But outside, they were like fire on the roof. And that was where revival broke off. And that was what began Pentecostalism. And it began to spread. spread. I gave you some history in the book, in the pamphlet in your hand. Look at the pamphlet in your hand. Now, I talked about the brief history of Christianity in Nigeria. The introduction is there for you to read. The global expansion of Pentecost, uh, Pentecostalism. From 1900, Pentecostalism emerged as a distinct movement spreading from the United States to various parts of the world. And they began to take it around. People like William J. Moore began to move. John G. Lake. You see all of them in God's generals. Read about them. They were the ones that started this movement. And it started in America, America there. Ah. Ogo. Ogo. Teofi Bere. In Yajo Christianity. Koni Sono. I said Koni Sono. Now, the general overseer of Foursquare was telling us last week that one of the most profound statements he has heard in the U.S., because they have gone to U.S. for one of the conference now, and they are back, and he said one of them was saying that we gave you our best men when you needed it. Now, we need your best. Please give us your best. Does that sound to you? 
that they know that their society has now go so much backward and away from God that they need men of God, Christians from Africa and from Nigeria to come there and do what they did many hundred of years ago that they brought here. So we need to stand up. Hence, he was talking about to us about a concept they call reverse mission. Now, reverse mission, if you've ever heard of it, you can Google it, read it. The argument that is going on on reverse mission now is that reverse mission is not the black Africans bringing the gospel to Europe. That is what it means. That is, they brought it to us at first. They have lost it. Now, we are now the one taking the gospel word back to them. That is what we mean by what? Reverse mission. Now, the white are now saying there is nothing like that. You are not bringing the gospel. You people came here to look for greener pasture. Your country is so backward. You have problem of leadership. You have economic problem. And you came here under the guides of Christianity to come and find a better life. And in the course of it, you started preaching the gospel. So something brought you. But what brought us then to your country was because Jesus was what we brought. Abi, that was why we came. But you, you came for what? Better life. And you are now joining what? The gospel to read across. See, the argument still continue. And it will what? Continue. But see, I personally disagree with their position that they brought the gospel to us totally. No. No. They also came to do slave trade. They came to pack people that time to their farmland to go and walk. Huh? So, and that is what is giving some some human being. Ah, may God help us to stand up for the faith. Amen. That the faith that we have received, we will defend it. In the name of Jesus. Now some got up and started talking about Jesus Christ. Not really a person. That Jesus Christ is actually a concept. There is nobody called Jesus. There was no Mary that gave birth to any Jesus. Jesus is actually the name of a group. J E S U S Joint European Slave Union Society. Joint European Slave Union Society. That was the name given to the both that was being used to convey people, black people, to Europe then to turn them to slaves, to start working for them. Now, when that has continued for some time and they wanted to personalize it, then they created the concept, Jesus. And they started naming somebody that name. There was nobody that was born Jesus. Number one, heretic. Number two, heresy. Is that, uh, you know the Jesus, if I say Jesus now, eh, there are some pictures I will show you. I don't want to cause trouble. But I know a time is still going to come when I'm going to do that trouble really big time. Eh? You know that Catholic Jesus? That fine guy that has long hair, nice beer beer and things like that. Oh, you bo? Eh? And when I say that's the picture of Jesus, somebody says, ah, my Lord Jesus. Who told you that? That's not the picture of Jesus. That is the Catholic picture of Jesus. I can give you the American picture, another uh, country's picture of Jesus. In fact, while growing up, Jesus Christ in Channel 5, if you watch Jesus of Nazareth then, during fasting and prayer, Abby, Channel 5, Jesus Christ. Is it the same thing as Channel 7? You know, Channel 7, Jesus Christ, is on his white hair. Eh? 
Channel 5, uh, low cost, short. The Channel 5 Jesus Christ, that one is the one that is Catholic Jesus Christ that they are using. So there's argument as to what really is the picture. What is Jesus Christ? Is he a white man or a black man? Now, go online now and check the black Jesus. Russian president, Lionel Putin, Putin is now scattering the internet because the oldest vault in the world known today is located in Russia. Recently, last year or two years, Lionel uh, Putin opened it, commanded that they should open it. And when they opened it, they saw relics of the apostles of Jesus Christ and of Mary and what he looked like, really. And many other things from that relics, eh? information gathered from that boat. Jesus Christ is not light in completion, it's dark. From that archaeological research. So that is the strongest. He now make a law in, the, in Russia. So Russia today, they don't call on Jesus Christ, the one you know. They are now saying they are serving what? The black Jesus. I know Putin is just looking for, he's just looking for relevance. He's just looking for something. But in Kotoso, Kosirombe, there are some elements of truth in it. Presenting Jesus Christ as a British guy, as a Brit that guy that acted that thing, he's a British guy. And I've seen many British, in fact, one of my old guy in, he said, he said, Kule, who do I look like? I, I forgot his name. His name used to go off my mind now. I mentioned his name. He's, he said, no. He look at me that way. If I throw my hair down and allow it to grow, and my beard, who do I look like? I said, I don't know. You look like. He looked at me and said, okay, now I want you to imagine me grow my beard a little and long hair. Then I'll look like Jesus, the guy. And you know, you know, at that time, I just looked at his face truly. And I looked, his nose. All the features you have in Jesus' face, this British guy has it. He has it. If you only grew his head long and that, he will act Jesus Christ and he will do it very well because you believe he's the one. I got what I'm saying. So that is the midst of what we are and we are defending. So people, so Christianity is going through another stage now. Another stage now that we need to be careful in the defense of our faith and in the defense of the truth of the Bible. So I'm asking you, if you are still contending with the former one, see another one has come. And you are supposed to be what? The pastor. You are the one that is supposed to be providing what? Guidance. What will you be providing? So that is the level that we are in. Now, that is gradually fading out now. You may not agree with me, but some people are already talking about the fifth generation of Christianity in the world. And I'm, I say, what I, what's happening to us now? He say, you don't know that this, this level of Christianity we have now is somewhat fading away. And I say, why? You now see people online saying that Christianity is a scam. How many of you have heard that? Okay, so you are okay. So it's popular here too. Eh? So they don't even see anything in Christianity again. Forget it. They are only deceiving us. They are lying to us. All these things are fake. They are bubble. They are just doing it so that they can get members and collect tithe and offering that they are going to be living on and things like that. And they are not even saying the real truth inside it. And many things is shaking now. Eh? American brought Christianity, right? One of the greatest ministers, or do I call him the greatest? One of the very strong ministers that we have in American Pentecostalism now, uh, then was, or rather now, is T.D. Jakes. How many of you know him? How many of you know T.D. Jakes? 
All right, you know him. Good. How many of you know what happened to him in recent time? You've been reading the story. Now, look at what that is doing to American society. And some people are saying, some, some of them are saying, I don't even know what to believe again. I don't even know if there is actually a Jesus. If T.D. Jakes could do that. Ah! Olomu onije ko je olodina. Si igba la anwen inyo. Ni oruko jesu. Everybody make mistake. But because he made that mistake and because of who he is, the whole country is what? Shaken. Because one person make mistake. I'm a jolly jow. <laughs> so I was telling me, ah, pastor, a funny way. O taja fun shosh. Muso fun ekwe ma fun 500. O de wade. And you turn everything around. Say no, 800. And I say no, 500 yen. On lo ma ba. And that's fine. <laughs> pastor, I'm a try. Money and muso fun ekwe 5 yen. Ah, so, hello, me, wow, I like when pastor, eh, mufun, eh, fun, come on, law. Money, no, go, oh, oh, that's deception, that's lie. <laughs> hey, pastor, toba dija, she in le geblo. <laughs> Money, me, o geblo, anywhere. Pe, o won ready, lati, geblo, and you, fe, geblo, eh, fun, yo, oh, yeah. So I was not looking. Wait. What do you what do you take charge for? Anywhere you can come in and just hit and run? Now, if I am a job at Jabe, I said to her, Oh dear, my tonsil. If a brother come one in church, one by and tomb and jag on. Fake by changing the bus. The bus stop. Bus stop church in London. Change me that. Abo Bonnie, what to say if any empty? Ah, before get to more. Gaga, gaga, gaga. What to do any? What to eat? Don't try me. See, as you are looking at me, I'm born again. I'm a Christian. My Christianity does not allow for stupidity. Eh? Go and ask of me. That is my church. That is where I fellowship. Don't try. I'm a Christian. <laughs> people will come to church to come and tell pastor so pastor has only been praying fight your fight and go but um at one no was church if it's church <laughs> ah! pastor said to and said pastor God just provided one accommodation for me in this place. I say I should you should come and pray on it. And eh, where? In that place. Eh? So where will you be going to say I will find a church around there? Come, let me pray for you. I pray for him. Come there. He will do that severally. Nothing scatter. But the day pastor. We do it. Even newspaper will carry it. Eh? That is where we are coming from to where we are today now. So what's going to be happening in the Anglican communion? Um, my brother, is this thing moving? My slide has moved, but the one on screen has not moved. IT. Please come and help me. Uh, I think I have moved my slide twice. Okay, it's moving now. Good. So this is the next one I'm going to. So you know where we had come for to where we are. Now we are not talking about, and I, and I put history there of how Christianity has moved. In the paper you have, the best brief history of Christianity in in Nigeria. You have it there. Christianity was successfully introduced. I'm looking at uh, point two. Now, 1950 to 1970, Pentecostal churches experienced exponential growth. Then today, Pentecostalism continued to thrive, becoming a dominant force 
within the Christian landscape. Now, two brief history of Christianity in Nigeria. You read that Christianity was successfully introduced into Nigeria through the Badagri and Old Calabar. The first stages was the successful introduction of Christianity in 1842 by the Wesley Methodist missionary Thomas Bert Friedman, although Maxwell mentioned him as an Anglo-African uh, John Bert Freeman, and you have all that. Then, following Methodist, next paragraph, following Methodist missionary was the uh, Church Missionary Society, that CMS, the missionary Henry Townsell. I read so much about him. A young man of 26 who married Badagri in, at Badagri in December 1842. Now I'm tracing it to, I want to mention where we got to the Anglo, it was the CMS, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, yeah, that translated into what we call today's Anglican. Is that right? Good. Now, open the next page. You have reading notes there. The six stages of Christian history in Nigeria. We had the advent of resident expatriate missionaries. Methodist uh, Thomas Bert Friedman in 1842. We have uh, the CMS, that is the Anglican Henry Townsell. That's in 1842 to the Baptist Thomas Bowen and Presbyterian Hope Waddell, 1842. And the Roman Catholic Father Bo, uh, Bo, Boguero in Lagos in 1861. That was the first stages. The second was what the indigenous indigenization of of churches. That is African AIC. We call them African independent churches. Some call it African indigenous churches. They started springing up. That is the session of the native Baptists. Then we have the prophetic healing movement that is during the era of prophet Ayo Joseph Babalola that is in uh, that led to the present world day CAC the Christ Apostolic Church then we have the Nigerian Pentecostal movement that started with the British Apostolic Church the American Assemblies of God and the Four Square that is where I came from. They came during the fourth stage. Then the fifth stage, which is the evangelical movement, that actually started in 1950 through 1960. The scripture union was part of that. The student Christian movement, intervarsity, uh, knifest, which I guess some of us must have come across. Then after the civil war came Pentecostalism and neo Pentecostalism. Those are the six stages. Now, in Nigeria, it's gone through different, different stages from the 18th century uh, to where we are today. Look at, because I want to get to somewhere before we now go to start hitting on the points I want to tell you. Look at um, point four, point four, under history of Pentecostalism, in Nigeria. I said that, that the Civil War revival of the 1960 and the 1970 pioneered by the Scripture Union group in secondary school and student of the Christian uh, Union in university. The SU first came to Nigeria in 1885 which it, with its headquarters at Ibadan and, and I think they are still there now. The SU plays a strategic role in civil war revival then all these constitute the historical roots and uh, i'm now on page five for the historical roots and uh habingia of the nigerian pentecostalism the classical pentecostal churches will have played a major role in preaching and spreading of uh scripture scriptural holiness in the nigerian churches but it's not clear how the doctrine of biblical holiness was developed taught and emphasized so all i'm trying to tell you is that the history is long there are many churches that have been involved in christianity long before pentecostalism came 
In fact, just before Pentecostalism came the evangelical movement. And uh, Apostle Babalola's uh, ministry comes very strong among the evangelical. Now, today, we are talking about the move of Pentecostalism. And one of the things that characterize that is the move of the what? The Holy Spirit. Through the evidence of what? Speaking in tongue. Huh? Acts chapter 2. Abi? And verse 1. And it came to pass in the day of Pentecost. When the day of Pentecost was fully come. That they were gathered together in the room. And as they prayed and wait upon the Lord. There was a sound. And like a sound of a rushing mighty wind. And the spirit of the Lord rested on each of them like a clothing tongue of fire and they started to speak in tongue now as they spoke every man in jerusalem at that time heard them speaking where in their own dialect and they were hearing them and it was like what what is the meaning of this this is a new move who are these people are they drunk with wine and talking like this then peter stood up and preached one of his greatest fantastic gospel that led 3,000 people to Christ that day. And that was the beginning of it. So the question is this, how has this now impacted on the Anglican communion? The Anglican communion has been before Many of them, before the holiness movement, before the evangelical, even before the Pentecostalism that we are talking about. Are we together? But is the movement of Pentecostalism, is it affecting Anglican? Ask me, is it affecting Anglican? Is it that it, it, it both affecting you and being affected by it? So, you cannot what? Ignore it. You can't put it aside. You need to pay attention and know it. And you know it with the intention of what? Knowing how to navigate around it and allow yourself. How, is it that we need a recess? I'm seeing so many movements in the room. I want to be sure that we don't need a recess. We can go ahead. Okay. That, that, how is he affecting what you're doing as an Anglican priest? During the miraculous movement, a pastor, a pastor said his church members were leaving to other churches. Why? They say in our church, we don't see miracle. Miracles don't happen. Why? He said miracle happen in other churches. He say, ah, okay. Next Sunday, eh? You people should come to church. Miracle, they're very young. Ah, she told you, let's say, let me know, Nia, no, let me know, love, but alone. Ah, he told you, more come, what's up for you? Next Sunday, next Sunday came. Ah, she's ready for miracle. She's ready for miracle. And he took out and cut it. Cover it. And said, "Where Koa? And Koa, Koa. He removed it. There was no the egg disappear. Say, ah, kidding? Yeah. Say, ah. Hey, he recovered. He miracle any. He put another thing, and then he was busy performing magic tricks. I felt he now was in his case more. If he had just stayed with the preaching of his gospel, Jeje. So they are saying Pentecostalism, Pentecostalism. You are saying, leave it. I am going to face my word. Anglicanism. I, I heard that yesterday when one of the debaters was talking about. And I've heard it from Professor Lu, uh, Leo Lumumba uh, of Kenya when, when he was talked seriously about Anglicanism. Yes, Anglicanism is good. It's good. And I started discussing it with my friend yesterday 
And I had a little chat about it with Bishop yesterday too. When I got to the Anglican Church in Lagos, Victoria Island, 1004 Church precisely. And I saw, I saw a different Anglican that I have always known there. And I was like, so why are they calling these people orthodox now? What is orthodox about what I'm seeing here? Say for that, where I was seated in front, I saw the Ten Commandments on one side of the church. I saw uh, the faith, our uh, creed, nascent creed. I saw the nascent creed pasted in the church. And for me, see, if I can come in contact with these things regularly, they keep me what? On track as a Christian. We read several times from the prayer book that read your red book book of prayer yeah this one this one yes and i took it that day i told pastor please i'd like to have a copy of this and take it home and say ah you can't take it <laughs> he said you can't take it i said why i love everything i'm reading there both the one in red and everything so one of the my very very good friend uh, is it canon yano is now venerable. Fantastic. Oh, he, he recently became a venerable. Last week, uh, I'm, going to, uh, I'm going to chat to him now and tell him. Now, he then told me, if you want, he directed me to go to CSS Bookshop that I will get one there. Are you with me? Why am I going to that story? The atmosphere there. Are you with me? I hope this suite is not distracting us. Are we together? Are we together? You are following me? All right. So, I saw a different move inside that place. In fact, I saw, what do you call it? This talking drum. Eh? Go, go. There was drum set. Now, I saw two different choir. One choir was on this side. They dress in robe. Then, the other choir on this side, those ones, they wore... Mufti, yeah, but it's Ankara. The Ankara was, uh -huh, they now put on black trouser. Is it praise band? The way those one led praise worship is not different from what's happening in Four Square. They led it the same way they would lead it, lead it in Holy Ghost Night in Redeem Camp. The same thing. So I was now wondering, oh, is this happening in Anglican Church? Then, then, what are we talking about? Why can't young people come? And I saw a number of young people inside the church. So, which one is your own? That you now hold it. Beauty wala de de koshe. Ben yon beni sin. Ben yon si marini ba wobo. Aya ini pe kun. Amen. It cannot be. Things are changing. The number of people you are ministering are changing. So why would you say because you have been drinking milk and golden more while you are growing up? Now that you are five, six years old, you still want to give him what? Milk and golden more. Ah, ah. They serve us milk and golden more somewhere. We finish eating it. So I was like, Igbale ma serve onje. Ah, ah. That one you. I said, don't, don't, don't try. Don't. I thought that one we were just playing. Eh? How can you call that one food? Some people ate that one. That's food. See, I know, no. It can never be full. Oh, be, oh, be, ata. So if you are saying you will not agree with the change, things are changing and you have to change with it. I like sweets. I like ice cream. But now, hey, 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 my age, they are beginning to tell me, Oga, cut it down. Cut it down. Oh, then do me by. 
that I cannot. But each time I take it, me too, I know what happens to me there. Why? My body is what? Changing. So the things that I do is what? Changing. So if Christianity is going through changes, the society is going through changes, evangelism is going through changes, you must, you must, somebody say change. Somebody say change. So let's run through it now. So I now went to the Pentecostal influence of on Anglican theology, embracing charismatic gifts. Now, I don't know, speaking in tongues, the idea of speaking in tongues, praying. You see, some people used to pray and they're singing, thank you, Jesus, we worship you. We give you thanks, we give you praise. And before you hear it now, somebody is saying, Libra, da, la, 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 la. and he began to speak in tongues like that. And immediately start that. Somebody shut down. What's the meaning of that? Uh -uh. How can you just be speaking in tongues like that? You only speak in tongues when the move of the spirit is hot. Eh, hot, 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 hot. Say, I get what I'm saying. That you could lay hands. Laying on of hands is another. I'm talking about the gifts of the spirit. And when Lomi is not really laying on of hands. Oh, tini, tini. Oh, tini. You know, my mom. You got. Oh, oh, tini, Eh? Whereas, sincerely, there are some that will not contact you and just stretch for their hand on you and you feel you're, you just lose balance on your leg and you are down. When that person have it. So for you to now write off any other, everybody that is doing that in their service. Hello? Hello? No, serious. There are people that go around and the aura of their personalities move with them. I was at a, a co-hotel and suite. We were having Institute of Directors. We were having meeting. That day, they were going to honor Oni of Ife, this present one. They were going to honor him and give him the status of uh, a chartered director too. Look, I don't know why they choose to give him that. And he came. I was standing at the door when he came. I just saw the guy, the one that always go in front of him. And he'll be doing environmental sanitation. And he'll be sanctifying everywhere. And I saw him. So when I saw him, I remember seeing something like this during convocation in Ife when I was graduating that. This guy always come when Oni of Ife is around. Is he around here already? And just like I will lift up my head, I saw him coming. H Hello, all of us put on suits. We are all in suits. So I stood at the door where I was. I was looking around. And he did all his jala and went inside. When Oni too was coming, he was coming like that. That was the first time I was seeing him face to face, facing me. And like he came in. As he approached me, no, you could see one. <laughs> okay, you are recording. You are recording. Okay, wait, wait. I, I leave it. Leave it. <laughs> First, Owoda Lara. To bari toju, your skin. Eh? Koni di para. Koni. This guy was glowing. You will know this person is well fed, taken care of, the way he was coming. Now he was coming <laughs> when he passed by me. Of course, he was with his stick and he had so much uh, uh, and when he passed by, 
I felt a, a different presence pass by me. Huh? He passed and he went inside and I was at the door. So I took a walk there and I started to ask myself, uh, what happened to you now? Was that the move of God? Or have you contacted another spirit? Or what has really happened to you? So I just went some distance and Libra Shataya Evenisti. Libra the day. In the name of Jesus. And I spent, went around there praying tongue for some time. After that I felt relief in my spirit. Then I went back into the hall and sat down. He came for a meeting. Me too, I came for a meeting. Period. And that day they gave, they gave him a five. <laughs> He gave a meeting. And that day they gave him the same status that they gave to all of us. FIOD is a now um, a chartered director. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now, that is a, a person. They don't go around him. Anyhow, if you tarry in God's presence enough, Hello. That Peter was there enough that aprons can be taken from his body. And he was going, his shadow. They were, eh? He wasn't, the demons will run because they know this is the shadow of Peter coming. And they were running. Take it from that word. Peter and Paul I know. Jesus I know. Who are you? So, talking about charismatic gift, it is a gifting of God. If you don't have it, don't, don't uh, manipulate it. Eh? People now use Olubon. Eh? Olubon Walabel. Say, for that, it's a anointing. It's anointing, say, eh? We preached in gospel somewhere and they got saved. This brother came and we told him we were going to the next village eh? in their village to go and preach the gospel. And he said, Pastor Ambo, Edro, eh, shake your evangelism start by four. What did say, Lolly? Brother, let's go. When he came back, Eh? On day, Olubon, he woke and he just got born again. Ah, hello, ah, ah, Bible, Laniko and Mudani. I fell off was so in the phone. They say, Ah, Pastor, I want to lose it. One buru, one le. Tabati lo Bible for one. Tiny Obamu one. So I was like, oh God, Jesus Christ does not need your assistance. Whatever the preaching of the gospel cannot do, let it remain like that. So you've seen many people are joined things to their hand. I'm asking you, that thing you are doing in your church now, was it God that sent you? Did it come naturally? Or it was your creation next is experiential spirituality that that you 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 worship up to a level that you know that yes the presence of god is here One king, you see some people that say ah the spirit is moving it's a light stop deceiving the people if the microphone stop working Will you still say, ah, Baba Biara said something. He said, he said, Tanyo Mo, Tanyo Mo is so jishe. E fun ni microphone to lag baratonye. E wo pui speaker e shen dun se, se, se. Ta wa an lo magafon te mi in pari wo ti mo un log on lono fon. A phone me no ni room microphone te phone. Ke wa to speaker for me be she to phone. Egg by pe agbara long one Louis. 
I mean, it was clear. Let me tell you something. It's a slim thing. Eh? To ban to one your jail, oh more. You know. And if it is real power of God, you also know. Because when it's the power of God, it has nothing to do with you. In fact, most of the time, I want time to move back bad rough and when you have any pay. Why then bad rough when my young men who are like to do to bat it bad rough for me to law. You will now see the power of God along our bed. It's here, but he got to be sure. I pay back when man of God. I'm learning. Ah, Amy, Holy Ghost, move. I want to have my way by one friend. Koto my move. I fell fair fair a year or four. Koko on shelly. And then they were like, eh, hey, it's going like, take my better. Oh! <laughs> and you are working on them. Eh, it tie, okay, it's going to be, tie is going to be, can't be funny, eh? Imagine, one corner, it's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be, and Satan don't fall for Grata, oh, eh, money, eh? Masham, masham, oh yeah, masham, bon shame, mash, ni, eh? No, shosh. Eh, tie is going to be, what for? Because it's going to be, he less cement ni. Igba to wa ya kilo shele. Eruku. Eruku ba boom wani no shosh ni yeh. Eruku wa wa loke. Lo ba gonri pupit. Yes. That's the glory of the Lord. See the glory of the Lord moving. Ah. La wan konon wo ben yeh. Hey. Hey. Glory ki ni. Eruku mpun si yinu nu. Am I bock at the lodger? No, get to the so don't, 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 don't tell the person, don't fake it. Tell the person as you don't fake it. Spiritual experience is real. Spiritual experience is what real. Don't fake it. If you have not gotten it, then pay the price to get there, and that price is getting where. In the place of prayer. In your closet. If you kneel before God enough, you will stand before men. And when you stand before God, they know that a man sent from God has been here with us. Next we talk about holistic theology. Theology, yato. Take it. We are talking about the Pentecostal influence. I've seen it here too. The day my friend was ordained by the bishop, I saw them that when they are just going through the church, they get to a particular place and they do like that. And they walk past again. I saw him first time. Second time. I look at that pot. So another person will go again and he will do, he will do like that and he will go. So I say, hey, question continue. So after we finish, I ask him, what happened? What were you what were you buying down your head to there? And they couldn't give me a straight answer. When I got here too yesterday, I saw some of you when you were walking past there, and Bishop was in front talking. I saw some of you when you get to the aisle here, you do like this. Eh? And you passed. And he told me that that is respect for the spiritual authority in front of you. I don't know the, the way you put it in the, but I noticed that it's a practice in Anglican church. I don't see it in any other place. Uh -huh. Now, some would take it. He just gave me the simple explanation. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, so why do you do that? We are genuflecting. Anytime we want to move from the epistle side to the gospel side. We are giving that honor to the Almighty God that or that sit at the center of the altar. Center of the altar, yes. But but somebody did it for Bishop. I, I did, was it Bishop they were doing it for yesterday? No, no, no it's not for Bishop, but it is the authority of the church. Whenever is the authority is the church, we want to move out. We must give honor. To him. To him. To okay. him. Bishop, is, Bishop is raising his hand there. Let me hear from Bishop. He should be able to tell us here. Yeah. Okay, Bishop. We're talking about 
theology. Hold on, hold on. Let's hear from Bishop. Bishop. It is the custom in the Anglican Church and also the Catholic Church, the Orthodox churches. We recognize the altar as the presence of God. So anytime we move from one side to the other of the altar, we genuflex as a mark of respect. In the Catholic Church, even once they were about to enter inside the church at the door, they, they kneel in reference that they're in the house of God, in the presence of God. So it is a practice that when we come in, we genuflex. Some people when they come in and they're about to enter the pews, when they get to their own pew, they say, this is where I want to sit. When I get here, I genuflex, then I sit down. So you have those variations of the same practice. But the problem, the, the, the real issue is reference that you are in the presence of God. Because the altar table represents the presence of God in our churches. That's what we'll be giving Come on, put your hands together for Bishop for that enlightenment. You get that now. Good. Now we're talking about theology. So from what Bishop has said now, we are recognizing what? The presence of God. In some other jurisdiction, recognizing the presence of God is entering into the church and you remove your cap. Is it? In our own place, that at the entrance, all those ministers, we have ministers in our church, uh, and you have some chiefs too. When he gets to the entrance of the church, he remove the cap and put it in his hand. Uh, as a mark of what? Respect to God. So why in Anglican church, I could call it, I know you don't wake up to some, except you have become bishop, right? You can have a little here. Why genuflexing is the reverence for the altar here in some other jurisdiction it is for a man to remove his cap a lady that is not having anything say I enter church eh? I can't enter why I didn't bring my scarf I didn't bring a lady will do what cover her hair are you getting in that is one level we're talking about theology now I'm beginning to see one other move eh bishop in Lagos now, there are now some ministers. I'm not talking about the bishopric uh, capo. I'm talking about Phila. Tom and Guess. They are now wearing it inside the church. I ask one. Eh? Some. Cap. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the normal. It's on Koshesi. On Koshesi. Yeah, church. So you forgot to remove it. You say, I know. I know my cup is still. You know. Okay. Mother is a king gitibo. <laughs> so I'm wondering. I have not traced that to the bottom. But it's one of the things I'm still tracing now. What, what point are they trying to prove by that? The general belief is that when you come to church, you remove your cap. But now, Tatian Wo told the the regular bishop cap. Let me know the gospel. Because we now have some sisters now that don't cover the hair again. Why? My hair is given to me as what? A covering. And cotton won't believe me, yeah. Then, hello, me was off me, pay. She be, um, scarf, ten, can day, oh, re. Tobacco, be by, yeah. I suppose you can, yo, oh, today, cow. Now, she about this scarf, yeah. They now did some decoration on it that looks like what? Human hair. So, in yellow, one moto, I shaken, yo, today, so, di. So, as she re, kinny, kinny. In room to one bed, you are not saying I didn't cover my head. I have covered different preaching all over the place. So, 
you have that to to also contend with kilo ma wa ewo lo ma joko ti to ma ma po to fe ma ja pelu part of what pentecostalism but is theology difference in theology let me run through this worship practice in anglican church charismatic new year i've told you about it eh and the exuberant praise so ma so pe and when exuberant praise ne la won to one month tea if you see the way that lady was dancing in 1004 that day i was like wow this is serious a nice place nice drum instrumentation powerful all the percussion instrument complete and when we stop that one to when we now go to the hymn ah it will look like christmas as if it's a christmas environment then i don't know the feeling when you finish listening to that you now feel as if you have gone to the presence of god actually and you have come down eh? that is a form of worship but leave that side and come into the pentecostal movement you will now start hearing different type in fact different and uh, one was singing the other day and he said give the lord a big praise in this place hallelujah come on shake your booty to the lord jesus christ and they are shaking they are shaking their bum both male and female nino shosh ah brother deeper life can look the line and work tony i will never agree that this is from the lord no you can never them say no you shake your booty for the devil in clubhouse but now he's saying that what shake it for who the lord Bawulushi mama shake booty for the Lord Jesus in this church. Lori Ota. And when your brothers there were in the church in bed, today we go, ah, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And it's looking, it's looking around like that as a woman in the church. Okay. Okay. So where, where do you draw the line? For them, that's worship, and Elena Akwenikinio worship. But there are some things that are getting to the extreme that you need to come. But are we saying that it is not in the church? It's there. Go to the internet and see some very. Na- I, 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 I choose my words. Some very not too good pictures of sisters leading worship. Come on, give the Lord the praise. She don't shake, but what's okay, yeah? Go, go, it be by. Eh? Brazil, I am full, half me. On your part, it's the jaddies, it be by. I want to show you them open, yeah? Oh, give him praise, give him praise. Eh? And our brothers come, did you? On la june. Oh, come, wool over, yeah? Ah! Show she, eh? It be to my mama, worry. What you read it? Ah, I shall see it. Eh? Where do you draw the line? And these are the things you will have to cope with when we are talking about exuberant praise. The young people you want in the Anglican communion that you want to preach to, that you want to pastor now, they want to dance. They too, they want to raise their leg up. I'll say some when they dance to somebody, they carry chair up and begin to do chair like that. They're like you, one sister came to me in church and said and said, Bro, Kunle, when did we become like this? When did we become like this? This is uncalled for in the church. How can you eh, money she she and the colour shiri or oh, see anything? One place she has okay. Oh, what's okay? And the one that will stay on the ground, people they now dance all sorts. Those young young boys and girls. Every dance they dance there, they bring it to the church. Eh? From club on Friday to church on Sunday. The question is now this. I know her. Eh, May I bishop my correct and cut him back so meet you da timbal lo me on it to re won jade in a church of a jo jo to bad jo ton 
wo agboro olorun afi ti o ba nso olorun lo ran mi you will sit down under my administration and you not hear the truth of the gospel and that the spirit of the lord is not upon me to explain the bible passage i'm explaining and take you to where i'm taking you to you will get there but if I had sent you away, I want you to take your mind back to, okay, thank you. Take your mind back to Jesus Christ and that woman at the well. Why is it you, a Jew, you are talking to me, a Samaritan, eh? for everything? I can teach on one hour, two hours or more on that verse of scripture. That is, he didn't, she didn't need to ask Jesus Christ that he's a Jew. And Jesus Christ didn't need to ask her before that she's a Samaritan. By their appearance alone, you already know them. Isn't it? Yes. Okay, if you eh? From their words, our fathers worship where? Eh? On this mountain. Eh? Jesus Christ was telling him that, well, that was your fathers. But there is the God that now needs worship, he needs you to worship in what? Spirit and in truth. Only my friend, Lomimu, which water? You don't have anything to draw with. You are telling me I will give you a water that you will drink and you will thirst no more. A lot of teaching. But in the midst of talking to the brothers with low court, by. <laughs> Sherbe, ti e shuto wa ni nwe. Ha. Then, I've also spoken to the ones with dread. Tomato wa fi kauri. Bi, he, si. And I talked to some of them. And you see their hearts so open to receive the gospel. I joke ji tombo an shosh. Kose en to sofon. Why, Pastor? I want to look like you. But let it watch you. Oh, till little. Eh? You cannot enter here. I left Bagada to VI. I now live in Lekki. I was living in Bagada before. Charlie Boy. Oputa. You know Charlie Boy now. Charlie Boy. Boshi di wey. Ode di de lojo kon. Ode losi ndi pa life church kon. Before you know it, the old church was almost empty. Because one man can't wash it. One man can't wash it. And when, <laughs> when they spoke to him that day, he said he woke up that day so sober. He just felt he wanted to hear the word of God. And that was why he went and sat down at the back. What's up for me? Are you getting it? Omulo <laughs> Sotiel. But how many people do we have like that? But this is non-Anglicanism. Sister, you cannot enter this church. You will cover your hair. Why? The angels are inside. I see big in here say, Jade, Lori, abai. Bukbo, I went here, and bed Jade, and on salo. Because, in one building, what you are exposed in the church. I'm neither telling you here or there, but I'm telling you the things that you have to what? face in praise. Another one, the healing ministry, we've talked about that. You believe in healing? Can Jesus Christ actually heal? There's somebody there that the Lord told me that you have an ear problem. Check it now, it's gone. And it's gone. But somebody on the online started abusing all the Pentecostal ministers now. And they will now come, say... See how many wheelchairs are getting empty. These six people got out of wheelchair. 
and uh, these are crutches that people that came here lame they are walking lo to lo to eje ka ma so to fun awa gbogbo awon walking seat oko so kan yen tun tun ni eh tun tun ni so ni awon so pe use your brain gbogbo awon lame to wa si church yin walking stick won tun tun ni on se ra ni ohun na we se awon yen na tun tun ni excuse me now are you getting it is it a lie that lame people are walking in the service no there is but like i said the last one experiential eh, eh, spiritual experience if you have not yet gotten there don't fake it so igba to so pe tun tun ni emi na wa tun mo ri won e mo wa tun wo dada ah tun tun lo kini lo to na tun tun ni na so how manage bo bo live to wa si crusade yen wo ki si tun tun ni won mo wa so know that the healing ministry is true don't drive it away from your people uh the democratic uh, democratic shift global south the young generation and cultural diversity take notes there is a shift that is taking place in lagos action is on the Ma- island if you see Todd Mainland Bridge in Lagos. Todd Mainland Bridge is the bridge linking mainland with island in Lagos. If you see the traffic on Todd Mainland Bridge on Sunday, it's as much as Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday during working hours. Sunday, Lutheran, but why? Everybody has migrated there to church. But no, so, but in sorrow, message. Ah, but, uh, pastor, kill it, kill it. Eh, eh, koni ko be, pastor, kill it. Be pastor, say in sorrow, bye. Go bon koto un so, text. It's already. Oh, 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 is clean. Oh, 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 is clean. Oh, 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 is clean. So, to oba mi, steno, pastor. Miss it, oh, is clean. Why? There's a shift. This thing that I told uh, what you can watch, what you can watch any four square. I've done it now at two different places in four square about the new generation and the move of the last days. I wrote it as a paper. Eh? A lot of young people, when they are leaving four square, they are going into Desta, they are going to house on the rock. Paul at the Pharisee. They are going to Elevation Church. Elevation Church is Godman. I can love it. Godman was the guy that uh, left from Desta. Samade, I mean. uh, uh, Femi, Femi Davis, Global Harvest Church. All these young, young ministers. Preach more message. I went to, came to Ife, OAU, to visit them. While I was on campus, I was a fellowship president. And I went back to visit them two months ago. One, I visited them. Kinto de Eko from Ife to Lagos. My classmate has started telling me, ah, that was a nice suit you are putting on there. That was a, that, ah, you went to Ife. Kilo de Bimoshen Prisian. They were streaming it live. Huh? The pictures they took me while I was driving in and everything. Want to yabu boy? Want to be sorry? Picture put it on Instagram. So it was when I got home and I put on my computer and I started seeing all what they are seeing. That is church, and it's not only students that are doing it. Elevation is doing it. Yeah, this star is doing it. Most churches now are doing it. We started it in first square. I saw a redeemed church too that I went to. They too. I want you to say, 
their announcement is not, oh yeah, uh, in country, uh, I don't know how you call programs in Anglican church. The next thing is now announcements. And in your calling, oh, we call it, uh, uh, that who you can go for, uh, canon, uh, uh, kill it, and you'll be in a bill being ready, a meeting, you maybe all those things have been digitized. Time for announcement, you just see something come up, just like CNN or Channel TV. You will now see the same way they used to usher them. You will now be seeing those things will be moving around. Just as if channels is about to cast news. It's RCCG you'll be seeing there. You'll be seeing the picture of their pastors. You'll be seeing their Sunday services. The same way they do it in the global world. And you listen to news. Abi, church is a society in his own. You listen to the news there. Time wasting. Kusimbe. Mode wo honor shin sheki ni yon. Ofen she time in. So, young people have moved there. The, the old, they are closing churches, some churches. And the reason is because, bo bo an wo young people to wan be. Wan ti loton. So, when the old, the last set of old people that are there dies, what happened? Close it. They sell it. The general overseer told us the last time now that he went to um, U.S. where the founder of Foursquare, the church her parents, Amy Semple McPherson, where the, the church where she grew up, huh? that that church today, they've sold it. Maybe they closed it down or sold it. Why? And they showed the picture of the last services they held there. They were just old people. No young person there at all. And Talon continue in joy. Is it not the young people? It's the young people now. Your generation, will it not pass at some point? It will pass. It will pass. Where is Henry, ba where is George Bad Freeman? Where is Henry Townsell? Eh? Abuja? Uh, Belkuta? <laughs> Where are they? They have done their bit and what? Left. They passed it down to what? And that's why we are continuing. God told the children of Israel, this thing that I told you, burn them in your heart and command your what? Children. That they will pass it to their own children. And that is how it goes from place to place. It's not our generation that the gospel will stop. So let's look for how we could present it to the coming generation that they will be ready to what? Run with it. The scripture says, write the vision, make it plain upon tablet that he may run that reads it. With what they don't understand. Tension between, okay, I think I had, okay, this was jumped. This ought to have been come, this ought to have come earlier. That's the tension between Pentecostal and traditional one. That theological differences. He saw, he, he, I think there was something that jumped there. This is an earlier slide. I, I wanted to talk about your theological differences. We've talked about it, right? Then your liturgy and practice, the way you order your service and things like that. Some will say, no, praise worship must come before him. Then after him, this. I want to go to Bafile Daru. Ah! Toba share your con before a KG. Oh, to go to Pupit and my ya yo. Oh, the next year. Oh, you don't learn. Eh? Whereas, <laughs> you see my senior pastor in the first square, he, he scatters it. Eh? What was the second to the last one this Sunday? It can be number two next time. And some people say, ah, no, don't worry. Yeah, Sunday school is going to be at this time. Don't worry, we can still go around that. Service start 9. They'll be coming around 11. Uh -huh. And by the time they are coming, those ones has happened. Maybe it's Sunday school they are meeting. Or it's announcement they are meeting. Ha! Ah, 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 ah. And you will see people adjust. 
Don't let people be stereotyped. The world is dynamic. Then, doctrinal debate. That one. Eh? Uh-huh. So, know how to settle the issue of doctrines. If you are still going to retain some people in your church. Have a common stand. And explain it clearly. Some of the doctrines of Anglican church, it could be amazing that even some pastors over churches cannot explain it until you get to the leadership. Are you getting it? We do respect to that individual. I don't know him. The individual that uh, uh, Bishop was trying to caution yesterday on the dressing of uh, the one you walk around with and the one you don't walk around with. Now, at some point, that person will be corrected. Eh? He might not see anything wrong in it. It takes an elder that knows this is not a practice here. Okay, come. This is how to do this. And he will learn from there. But some people, they don't even know the real thing behind it. And you are leading people. So you now allow people to go haywire under your leadership. These are the things that Pentecostalism has brought to Anglican church and we must be careful uh, not to allow it to pull us down but to take advantage of it and grow up. Now an impact of Pentecostality of Anglican church growth, renewed vitality with the new way I now see some Anglican church worship, some people are now interested to go in. That one at uh, the 1005 I talked about, there is this guy, John Joshua. I don't know if daddy got to know him before he left. John Joshua is, is a Chinese guy with his wife. They are both white. They went there. That's the Anglican church. They chose. They are white. They came to Nigeria. In fact, it was him that took me in. I was his guest on that day. Huh? And they are pleased to worship there. Because every other thing you want to see in any developed and tech church, you have it there in that 1004 church. Are you getting it? Digital, slides, speaker, microphone, yes, sir, sir, I mean, very perfect sounding system. Are you getting what I'm saying? Eh? So there's renewed vitality. The next one is demographic shift. Yes, they have things church. In that church, of course, I look around. I said, okay, young, young people. So what happened? Didn't you people come to church with your children? And they, and they pointed to me. If you see the children department. It was one child that told the father one day. So yeah, let's go to church. And they said, daddy, I'm not going on. Ah! Come on, let's go to church. He said, no, I don't like that church, daddy. Let's go to Auntie Phoebe's church. Auntie Phoebe's church, why? Yeah, I like that church more than our church. In their own church. How come I come and see because of me? J-E-S-U-S. Say it after me. J-E-S-U-S. But in Uncle Phoebe's church, Auntie Phoebe, they gave them bicycle. Eh? They were playing ball as cartoon. Jesus cartoon. Noah and Jesus. Those cartoons were playing. All If you see that place, highly, the way they spend money on their children's church, you will think that it's a bank environment or it's a soccer center link. Then, their, their own church is not like this. Plain color. Row, row, color, 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 color. Very appealing to children. Eh? Then they have some things that are flying around. That is what means the children. So each time you say, let's go to church. Ah, aeroplane, bicycle, ball. Daddy, oh yeah, let's go to church. Eh? That is for them. Tabawa in room meeting by and I'm preaching. You, you want to be catching aeroplane. She go need to get a here. But you will do that in the children's church, Rabbi. See their teens' church, their teenagers' church. They are talking internet. 
They are talking artificial intelligence. They are talking blockchain. They are talking about programming. C++. I want to see one she new school. And what is going on in the society? Affiliate marketing. Online blocking. And that is what is flashing. Thank you. That is what is flashing in front of them. Why don't she need Padawa? So, maybe I should start telling you to now, because I saw it, so I, I know it's not a forbidden thing in Anglican church. Divide your church. Stop preaching the same message. Ten solo the altar. Say, say, I want teenagers. I want 25, 26. What are they going to do with husband and wife? It be, ah, a woe niko wa lori bedi pelokwe. O de wo jeans, yo fa zip was okay. It ru in here, wo niye. You are saying that. What do you want the 25, 26 year old to do with that? There are people who don't corrupt us now. What is that? Some even will say, eh, what's wrong? Everybody should put up their zip now. Say, ah, kole ye, eh? Kole ye, tabani ko brima fa zip is okay. La lesson, so ribedi. Eh? Ko ye yin, but o ye a won. Abi? Can you be saying that to the same set of people? No. So why they see that they, they, they will just switch off? But okay, want to see Pastor Elaine now here while holy who koso koso tons all over the pulpit. Meanwhile, I am Baba tons all see in no end room. Shengbo, all the pulpit nothing so on here. Shengbo, the the people that are hearing it, they are getting minister to. But the ones that don't need it, they don't like it. They don't want to come again. And the children are wondering, what are they talking? Daddy, why did that pastor say, mommy should not put up his sister? Keep quiet, go and play. <laughs> no, don't tell him to go and play. You are the one that took him inside the church where he heard that. And he has the right to ask questions. And there is no way you can begin to lose your children when they start having that. That they will go to church and they come back more confused than when they went. But you back, but this thing is on church. Ninu be balloon lorry, aeroplane, aeroplane fly in our church today. Eh? What was on the aeroplane? They wrote Jesus is Lord, and the aeroplane is flying like that. Service titi one here. Eh? Tita one teenagers. That is what they understand. Then they buy what they adult church. Eh? The master one, the power one die, oh what be? At it for what come in my for what come? You can talk about it there. Amen. For me, I don't think it's fair to be preaching the same message to all the different grades of people in church. You are cheating some people at the expense of them. You now hear some pastors say, today is youth Sunday. I want you to need to need. So that day what happened? You will cut off the adult, you will cut off the children, youth. And melo youth, melo le mache, one, ni no adon. What they are supposed to be hearing every day, every day. I get what I'm saying. Hello, what be she man? Come on, eh? Such that it is why youth president, nyo, why children leader, nyo, and you be handling the adult yourself. Let your wife handle the women, eh? And raise people for different arm so that they will be willing to come back. Let's close this up. Missional focus, you are a mission church. I love the way you do your mission. They post you there, go there, settle down, and do the work of the ministry. And of course, challenges and adaptation. You will always have it language issues, uh, language, the culture of the people there. You will learn it, Abby, and you will not stop learning it. In conclusion, that will be the, the last one there navigating the future of the anglican what the first one i put there eh so lara diversity and michelle shall let my message yak balagba or ya to sit on one door or they are to sit on one or day eh the way you have awusa igbo yoruba some people will get annoyed they will worship that calling me you back in the can come in and when you book on the one in the church tony this night now you're back church now uh, you, you be Yoruba. Uh, so why you say they no go appoint you deacon? You can't be deacon. Uh, if you want to be deacon, go 
uh, Pastor Carlo Church. Now there they will appoint you deacon. Eh? And there by there will load or load. I don't know how this thing, whether it's an African thing or it's in it. If the senior pastor there is Yoruba, I will go by one associate at our two summer. You're born one. There by there, Lossy Church, it's a car loom pastor. No, eh? I want my number. I boy, you know, let me. I want to marry me. I want to marry me. What's the meaning of that? <laughs> okay, so I don't know. What you should do is what? Embrace diversity. The second one to this place is what? We're going to talk about, oh, I jumped what I was supposed to do. Where is uh, Reverend Soldier? There is, a, there, he has gone. There is, okay, good. Good, good, good. Um, venerable. Please come and have this. I'm going to explain this to you before I go to my seat. I brought this for you and we're going to do it. We have four sessions. After the first session, by the last day when I'll be wrapping up, I'll be talking to you about adaptive leadership. Let each person have one, one, one each. Now, adaptive leadership, your leadership style. Eh? Be careful. If we buy any bishop, she man, she buy any one or she fair, she ah ah. Are you bishop? No, no. There are leadership style. There are different type of leadership style, and there are different. There's what we call situational leadership. Eh? Situation here in court. Situation here in Bani. Why Oh, answer no. Before we do that. We must first send to bishop. Bishop will reply. When bishop reply, council of the church will now sit down. Tabati wa joko ton lama. Due process. No, sir. Bureaucracy. Huh? Okay. The last, third one there is what? Everybody, please, call the third one down to the left. Eh? Collaborative. We are one of our church. We are church. We are at it won't be by for long. Can we move this church forward? Once you involve everybody, everybody will make it work. But over the day, one man soul need here. Eh? Eh? He was to a new vision here. He was not in the commercial. Marching color. Madame Quince. So, you didn't involve people. Say the man got to my own family. Only one week. He come out one the following week. One one week, he only mawa, only one one month. He just in one be message from Baba, he pe ko preach, glory, church growth and development. Eh? O unu ni ko preach el, o de lo wa kini yen o kojo o sorto. The following day, ah, the following Sunday, I wanna go to the church. But all those things that he preached. He pushed his family to do it. His wife, his children, everything. Why? He now sees himself a what? Part of the church. Ah, ah. Say, being caught in more prisoner. Come on, so pay. Yawo me at home, mommy. Come on. Oh, yeah, madam. Hello, sir. Children, go there. Youth church. Because he's now part of it. Not that pay. Eh, eh. Ah, why? Ni kon ni awa. So, she, she, be ma pa wala ni. So, she, ah. Eh, ma robo ya won bo. They know. Say, you say some people are the owners and all of you, you keep on owning it and the church will never grow beyond all of you there and the last one there is what that is what you have come to do here today it could be sounding secular but what is happening here is what spiritual eh? one of the greatest mountain that can stand before anyone is ignorance Ig ignorance if you don't know you don't know. You don't know. Let me make this very funny one as I go to my seat. We've been canceling people on childbirth, childbirth. <laughs> and there was this couple that don't have children. And they'll be coming for prayer each day. They'll go. Prayer, they'll go. So one day we'll just come and say, why? Have you done tests? 
The wife is producing egg. She's menstruating. The husband, spam count. Oh, Adada. Oh, okay. Yes, okay, Lo Why are you not having children? So now ask the brother, okay. Um, the body will not yara. Kini woman she. Kini woman she. Shall I? Eh? There are certain things you can't see outside. In no canceling the corner, Lord, like, bro. Kilo man she. How do you do it? Pastor, more demon ye. Eh, more. Eh, ubato demon kilo wa she. Eh, more demon. Eh, eh. Oh yeah, ibolo be rod. Ibolo be si. Eh, she born on the only king kibo. More the kibo, more the demon. But more demon dia o. More the yo, more the dide. Okay, oh yo. Eh, oh yeah, sister, kina in she. Eh, only eh, only king lie down. But more the lie down. But on their keyboard, to their pedia, on their young one today. So, in the course of interaction, we found out that see, the guy was only inserting, he did not ejaculate, he did not. Eh? The sister, too, we just stayed there and hold and say, hey, 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 and they will go. So, you now saw that this is the word problem. It is not from your mother's side. It's not from your father's side. It's from two of you. Eh, ma? So, we know how to do what? Tutorial. Eh? Say bye. Say bye. Say bye. Toba wa ya. Eh, this will not happen. Toba wa ya. Eh, ma di de o joko si be. Toba kpe di e. Eh, wa wa di de. Eh? Eh, to say the second day. It was that month that they got pregnant. Amen. Now, you see this one that I've just said now. You know you can't say it in the general church. You can't say it where children are and teenagers. Abby? But the thing that I just said now, did it bless you? Did you find it useful? Hello? Knowledge is power. Good morning, everyone.